What is going on guys, Panda here, and welcome back to Judgment on the Xbox Series X. We're finally continuing the series. I know, I laid off of it, never finished it, and it's honestly one of my biggest regrets that we did not finish the series. I could have finished it by now, but shh, there's already another game out. We don't talk about it. But anyway, we're back. I'm a little bit ahead of where we were. I finished just one mission in the story. We're not missing much. It's my fault. I did it on my own time once I like kind of fell off the series, but we're picking it back up. We're still in the same exact case. So we're still in the Three Blind Mice, Chapter 1. And our whole... We're trying to investigate the Kamurocho serial killing. But that gangster that got his eyes stabbed out. And everybody assumes that Toshiro Kume is the guy... Not... I'm sorry. Toshiro Kume is the guy that died. Um, and they assume that uh, Kyoi Hamura is the guy that killed him. Everybody assumes that. It's pretty cut and dry. But we're, we're not going to... We're not going to just make assumptions so anyway we're our next objective here we're gonna head to cafe miorhe or is it mijere one of the two but anyway we're going there i haven't played this game in six months probably so i'm gonna be a little lackluster on the controls we're gonna do our best and we're gonna head that way i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are excited that we're finishing judgment finally i am again very sad that we never did um, and we're gonna take the time now to do it. So, we're here. Uh, which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Is it this one? This looks. Like, yeah, this is this is potentially it. Yeah, this is it. Awesome. All right, cool. Again, I am playing with the game dubbed. It's the dub audio, not the Japanese audio. Um, if you guys want me to change it to the Japanese voices, which I personally prefer, let me know because I do really like the Japanese voice actors. I might do that anyway. Um, and you guys will just have to read the subtitles because, of course, we're going to have subtitles on, like all good YouTubers. But let's go. Hey, over here. Take, Take a, a seat. seat. All right. See all those particles? What's up with those? Right. Anyway, I asked around your Sonic 10. Couldn't get anyone to back up Hamura's alibi, though. All right. Good work. So, what'd you call me out here for? Something came up. Take a look at this. Cops released it to the media. It's the camera footage from a morgue. Hamura and Kume are both in here. Clear as day. Damn. Didn't realize the cops had their hands on this. This could be pretty bad. Ready? I'm gonna play it. Kume's the poor bastard getting dragged into the club. Explains why Kumi's buddy there is running for his life. Yep, got a name too. Akira Murase, another Kyori thug. Word is he hasn't left Kamurucho after getting interrogated by the cops. By the look of things, there must be a Kyori hideout nearby. Crazy how clear it all is. Hamura can't just talk his way out of this. Yep. And there's more. Take a look at this. One hour later, everyone leaves. Except for Hamura and Kume. Even the owner hightails it. Wait, why would they stick around? Who knows? Our pal Hamura never mentioned this part. Now, this happened around 10 p.m., meaning there was another four hours before Kume's suspected time of death. The question is, what were the two of them doing all that time? This would make <laughs> Hamura super sus like this is suspect one number one right here but anyway what did hamura say he did with kume again? hamura said he threw kume out of the club around midnight after right. that he left the club himself and went to the sauna right but i want to hear how it all went down from a different angle that's where you come in yagami you got to talk to the guy in charge of a more back up a second Huh? 
You're the lawyer here. I get that. You decide what kind of investigation we need for the trial. But don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah, but aren't you gonna talk to him either way? All the same, I'd appreciate it if you'd stop barking orders at me. All right, new info has been added to the Kamarocho serial killing. Um, so we have more info on him. That just basically highlights what happened there. And then the Club of More owner. And then we have Akira Murase, who was running from the whole thing when he, when it all went down because his buddy got taken. So let's head to Club of More. Let's go ahead and talk to the owner. See if he knows anything. I mean, pretty much the basic thing to do. All right, so we gotta head this way. I am kind of nervous about getting into combat because I legitimately don't remember how to play this game at all. So we're gonna go this way. Be a lot of running. Oh, here we go, we're already here. Oh yeah, this is literally the alleyway, I'm stupid. Let's see if he's here. Club of more. This is where everything went down between Hamura and Kume. The angle of the footage should help me find where the camera is. Okay. So. I thought it was... I was like, why am I not... Alright, so... Based on the fact that it was pointed over in a general direction like this... Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm assuming the camera's right there. But I want to look around. Sometimes there's collectibles. Like, there's a... There's always a cat, and you can get extra points if you find this cat. But I want to see if I can find this damn cat. I know I can Google it and make this... Oh, it sounds like it's coming from my left. I put my headphones on there. Listen for the meow. It's coming from my left? I'm trying to pinpoint. Ah. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, it's coming from this direction. Is it literally the cat pointing out where the camera is? Because the camera's right there, but where's this cat? Okay, so I can't... Oh, wait, wait, it's on my right. There it is, there's the cat, I got it. Got it. Oh, look, a cat. Yay, got the cat. Is there another one? No, that's it, okay. I finally found the cat. Okay. Suspicious. Awesome. Found it. The security camera that gave us of our footage. Better go talk to the owner of a more. Cool. Alright, let's go to Club of More now. Did not mean to kick all that over. Alright. Let's head in. Huh? Hello. Who are, Who are you? You, you need, need something? something? Actually. I was wondering if you have a minute to talk. About? About December 3rd. Oh, I have that day off, man. If anyone's gonna know, it's our manager. He doesn't come in till nighttime, though. The manager, huh? This him? Oh, it is. What's his name? Aragaki. Think you could get in touch with him for me? We need to have a chat. I could try. Hold on. I knew this was gonna happen. He never has his phone on during the day. He usually hangs out near here, though. You mean in Kamurocho? Yep, usually. All right, I'll go take a look around. If you don't mind me asking, how? You're just gonna walk the whole city? No, I have a plan. Someone I can use to help me find him. With the name and photo, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Huh, if you say so, man. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be a back door too. Hamra said that's where we left. Okay. Cool, so we gotta go find the manager. Man, this lighting's so good. I forgot how good the Xbox Series X upgrade was for this game. So this is the back alley where it all happened. Of course, the security camera is broken. Is anybody surprised? Hamra said he and Kume left the club from the store. The camera would have caught that if it had been working. Yeah, yeah, of course. 
if that camera would have been working, it would have pointed out who was who's the bad guy in all this. So it's kind of sucky. As for where the owner is, I just have another person to ask. I have a feeling he'll be somewhere where he always is. The Monti Internet Cafe. Okay. Got more evidence and the persons of interest has been updated. Let's go ahead and sneak out of here. We're going to head to the Monti Internet Cafe. We're going to get some info. Hopefully find somebody that can help us find this guy. And... Oh, here we go. Our first battle. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. Ouch. 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 Okay. Alright. There we go. I'll just beat him up. I'll beat him up with the bike. Why not? Come here. You want some? Come on. Come on. Suck it. <laughs> Forget how to play. Just use the bike. <laughs> just use the bike. <laughs> Why not? Too funny. Too funny. Alright. I assume that the cafe is up, right? Is it up? Oh, it's way over here. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Let's head inside. Take the stairs because we're not lazy. As I say, I say as I'm literally recording a YouTube video. He's back here. Guy. Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Ah, Yagamishi. You here to join this raid I'm about to get going? <laughs> Probably not, huh? What can I do for you? Got something I need a guy like you for, Tsukumo. This is Makoto Tsukumo. He's, well, he's a character. Tsukumo makes a living digging up dirt on the internet. A modern day informant, if you will. More detective work, I assume? What's, What's the mark, mark this time? A uh, lost cat? Someone go missing? I'm looking for someone. The owner of Club Amour, a man named Aragaki. He's probably somewhere nearby, but I don't have time to scour all of Kamurocho either. <laughs> you got that right. Searching on foot for cavemen. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick second? My phone? Sure. What do we have here? You already have the Chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? Oh, I guess it came pre-installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on, I'm busting into their servers now. And there we go. Here, take a look. Go ahead, try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Okay, That's a lot of hits. Limit the time period while we're at it. Say today. See? That map will tell you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. I'm not gonna lie. I had to give myself admin privileges to get that one, though. <laughs> wow. Hmm. 128 hits. We're gonna need to narrow down the search. Not sure what else we can put in, though. Didn't you say the name of the club, Yagamishi? Some crazy French word? Oh yeah, it's Club Amour. Great, let's try Aragaki and Club Amour. Well, looky there, narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki wrote this, huh? Nope, just someone who saw him. That's still a massive hint, though. See, it got posted only 10 minutes ago, meaning the poster might still be nearby. So, if I were you, I'd get down there and see if you can find out where your man went. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamishi. Hope it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Appreciate it. Oh, try to get out more, okay? <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? All right, that's a super invaluable tool to have right there, honestly. Go ahead and find the man who posted. Well, judging by the name of the poster, his name was 25-year-old and swole. <laughs> that kind of narrows down what I'm looking for. So we're looking for a 100% skinny man who thinks he's buff. Excellent. All right, so it looks like it's just down south here. Here we go, we got more fighting. Is this, what button's blocked? Okay. 
Okay. Oh shit, did not mean to break into your did not mean to break into your store, I'm sorry. Come on. You gonna attack me? There we go. Hit him. There we go. He's down. Why did it hit him? That was weird. Okay, he's down. Got him. Okay. All right. So it's going a little bit better now. Now I'm not just like mashing buttons. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about breaking into your store. I'm really sorry. I'll pay for it. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm broke. According to the story, I'm really broke. All right. So the poster is somewhere in this area. You? Are you 25 years old, this wall? Sure, I can spare a few of those. What's up? I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amour. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. Wasn't in a great mood from the look of it. Must have really lost big time on the pachinko slots. Any idea where he was heading? Toward Taihe Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? <laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Winning's what makes you stingy. Feels like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Huh. I never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll head over to that sushi joint. Alright. Turn back around. Let's head north. Sushi place on Tahi Boulevard. Excellent. Oh, it feels good to be back in this game. What's this guy running for? Is there a guy in the suit running over there? What are you running for? Is this the place? The. Is that a. Oh, it's Japanese. See you next time. There he is. There's our guy. Aragaki-san, the owner of Amor. <laughs> and you are? Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, uh, yeah? Sorry, not ringing any bells. Come on, you and I both know that's not true. <laughs> well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory, then? I've got something to show you. All right, so... I'm assuming that they want me to show him the obviously. Oh, I mean, okay. So the 9 p.m. is when the accident happened, and 10 p.m. is when he left. So I'm gonna show him that worth him leaving. Take, Take a look. look. Yep, that was it. <sighs> On the night of the crime, you left a moor with these Matsugane goons, leaving Hamura and Kume, the victim, alone in there. You're knee deep in this. <sighs> I guess I can't argue with that logic. Don't worry, I won't ask for anything too out there. Just a bit of your time. I'm working on Hamra's defense, and I'm hoping you're the silver bullet. Oh yeah? Whatever, I'll talk. Good. I'm glad you'll talk, buddy. I'm proud of you. Huh. You actually tracked him down. Appreciate the help. That's what being a detective's all about. Now, what went down around 9 p.m. on the night of December 3rd? Well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai punk Kume in here. It was out of the blue. Caught me off guard. Were there any other customers here at the time? Just a few. They bailed when Hamura came busting in here. Who wouldn't? I ended up sending the girls home, too. Once everybody was gone, the Matsugane guys just laid into Kume for almost an hour. You uh, didn't hear that from me. You're good. Don't worry. Then, right around 10, something kind of weird happened. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. And the only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. <sighs> yep. You know why Hamura kicked everyone out? He... He said Kume reminded him of an old friend. Claimed they needed to have a chat. Alone. At least, At least that's, that's how, how he worded it. it. 
and that didn't seem weird to anyone? Oh, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. But if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. No clue what went down in the club after that. All right, so let's go ahead and ask him Tell about, about the camera out back. back. Broke okay. one. Oh, that? How long has it been like that? For about a month. Some drunk asshole chucked a rock, cracked it right open. It was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. How much used to me then? Okay. Uh. I kind of want to get the bonus. Um, I don't know. Let's do the, about the police. The response. cops came by. No, nope, I missed this. Incident, Dang. Right? A detective. Yeah. Guy named Kuroiwa. Apparently with organized crime. What did you tell him? Not a whole lot. Same stuff I told you. Forensics was tearing this place apart. Trying to find bloodstains from Kume. You know, with that luminol stuff. I thought I'd wiped all that up before they got here, but that sure was a waste. Turns out blood's tougher to clean up than I thought. Now they're convinced the murder happened here. Was there that much blood? Before you wiped it up, I mean. No, not really. I told you, they barely even made Kume bleed. Sounds like he didn't die here then. Well, I certainly wouldn't know. Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on them for one. Not like they're especially good for business. Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me if I did that. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, they were going easy on him. Meaning what? Like just smacking him around a bit. You know, nothing too serious. Once in a while they'd hit him a little harder. To make him bleed, I guess. All right, that pretty much does it. It's such a weird case to me. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. We done here? All right, new info added. Okay, so that just literally gives us more details on what happened. Let me get out of here. Why am I jumping over? I'm not getting everything over. Um, so that doesn't really change much. Okay, what's that call? Hey. Hi, Joe. What's up? Hey, man. Where are you? Just, just left, left the club, club called the Moor. Over on Supon Street. Amor? Isn't that one of the Matsugane joints? Yep. Hamura and the victim were apparently alone in here the night of the murder. Anyway, need something? Yep. Swing by the office when you're done there. What's up? Uh, it's no rush. You'll see when you get here. Later. Alright, that was cryptic AF. But let's go. Let's head over there. Let's go talk to Kaido. And that'll just about do it for this episode. Like I said, I am definitely returning to this. I want to go ahead and finish this game. I don't know for sure if this series will keep up steam. Like, it, it has some pretty good viewage. We'll try to keep up steam. But if it doesn't, that's all right. I'm going to continue to play this game on the channel. Because it's kind of one of those games that I promised I would. I just did it. And I feel bad about it. And we're returning to it. Here we are. The Golden Triangle, huh? Go upstairs over here. Right, head up the stairs. So nice when video games have good stair climbing animations. So nice. Do I have anything in the mailbox? I don't. Right. Why is she here? How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? Good to see you, Yagami-kun. Don't worry, it's not what you think. And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Win my heart again? Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing clear. We never dated. Guess I misspoke. Don't sue. <clears throat> I'm here on business. That should be obvious. 
business? The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Hamura of the Matsugane family. You're involved, aren't you, Yagami-kun? Word travels fast. Nothing that happens in Genda's office gets away from me. Saori-san just can't keep a secret, huh? Not with me. We go way back. Since you were kids, right? Yep. Back to Hamura, though. They're already pressing charges. They only just arrested him. Apparently the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And this prosecutor is... Your friend, Izumira. Somehow I knew it'd be him. You haven't seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, Talk? Yep. He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Genda Sensei asked me the same question. I see. Does the prosecution have any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami-kun? Hmm? This detective business really doesn't suit you. Couldn't she have just called? Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? It's, uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back. Huh. Alright guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.